Hello guys, how's it going? My name is Dal. And Patch 10.2 has officially launched over on the NA realms, but not after multiple delays. But once the servers finally came back online, we got our chance to dive into the brand new update. Currently in the patch 10.2, you can experience the brand new zone of the Emerald Dream, as well as some of the earlier story chapters. We get to start upgrading our dragon riding mounts, putting in some time to earn the rep with the new Dream Wardens faction, experience even more open world content, and get to take our classes out for a spin or two to check out some of the newest revamps and talent tree changes. If this is your first time venturing into Dragonflight or simply coming back for the patch 10.2 and are unsure as to what should you be doing during this first week of the brand new update, then this video got you covered with all of the weekly activities that you should keep up with, as well as some of the early avenues of catch-up gear that you can obtain right now during the very first week, and which side activities should you be handling early on so you can have an easier time once the Season 3 officially launches. But right before we get into this to-do list for the patch 10.2, most of you guys watching these guide videos are still not subscribed. However, the more of you remind, the more of you do. So let's keep it going. Subscribe to the channel and ring the bell if you're watching these videos anyway. Especially if you want to get more regular content regarding Dragonflight 10.2 or any of the future updates going forward. The very first item on your to-do list this week should be to finish out the story chapters for the patch 10.2 or at least all of the story chapters currently available with the rest of the chapters being time-gated and released over the next few weeks. Getting through the main story of the Emerald Dream unlocks you a variety of rewards like a brand new customizable dragon riding mount, as well as some entry-level catch-up gear that's also fully upgradable. You will also unlock access to the new Emerald Dream player hub which grants you access to the crafting quest, gear upgrades as well as some new catch-up opportunities. And some of these early story quest lines also award you quite a bit of reputation gains with the new faction of the Dream Wardens. Next, you want to complete the weekly reputation quest called A Worthy Ally for the Dream Wardens faction. Especially if you're looking to catch up on gear and items, as completing this quest will award you with gear a 441 item level veteran epic quality that's also fully upgradable up to the item level of 460 and above. From the reward satchel, you will also earn Drake Crest for gear upgrades as well as a bit of gold. Another weekly activity you should try to keep up with is the brand new Open World Super Bloom event. This event starts roughly about every hour and lasts anywhere between 15 to 20 minutes. The Super Bloom event starts near the main player hub in the Emerald Dream. But before the event even starts, be sure to grab the weekly quest for this event from a dryad standing next to Spruce Crown. And for this event, you'll just have to escort Spruce Crown around the Emerald Dream, defending the Ancient from any threats, but also completing various tasks along the way. And the more activities you accomplish during the event, the more Flight Stones, Dragon Isle Supplies, Dragon Customizations, and even Dream Seeds that you can earn at the end of the event. When you get to the end of the event and defeat the final boss of the encounter, you'll be able to turn in the quest that awards you with additional rep from the Dream Wardens, Dream Seeds and even more epic veteran 441 item level gear. And if you're still looking for even more gear, you should also complete the Blooming Dream Seeds quest, where all you have to do is plant 5 Dream Seeds in any of the fertile soil found within the Emerald Dream. These dream seeds will come in three qualities, from common green seeds to rare blue seeds as well as epic purple seeds. And once planted, you'll need to complete activities around the dream seed to fuel that seed with the emerald dewdrop, which can be gathered from activities around the seed after you plant it or from various other activities around the emerald dream. In fact, planting seeds around the zone is a fantastic casual activity that allows you to farm even more reputation with the Warden's faction, but can even award you collectibles such as transmogs, pets, and even potentially mound drops, all depending on the rarity of your seed. Whether you choose to go after the collectibles or simply just want to get even more gear, all you have to do is plant 5 seeds anywhere within the new zone to complete the quest for Blooming Dream Seeds, which awards you even more epic veteran quality gear of 441 item level. Another activity you should complete once a week within the new zone is to complete your spark questline. Finishing the Dream Guardian's reputation quest will award you a single spark, and this week getting a spark allows you to get a second spark immediately from Lady Moonberry which is found in the central encampment area. Sparks will be a crafting component used to create season 3 crafted gear, anything from armor pieces, embellishments and even weapons and trinkets. 
However, I do recommend you to hold on to these sparks for a little bit longer and not craft them at him immediately in case we see even more class and even gear tuning over the next few weeks within the patch 10.2. It's best to take the gear crafting slowly and be cautious about it, just to make sure that that one spark that you get this week doesn't go to waste. Another thing you can start working on this week is PvP gear farming. While none of the PvP vendors have any gear for you to buy just yet, the honor points that you have in your bags right now stay from season to season. This means you can start saving up your honor points now and then buy up a full set of entry level PvP gear as soon as it's available starting next reset with the launch of Season 3. However, if you just want to start earning PvP items now, you can start doing so with the bloody Tokens vendors, which offers entry level world PvP gear that's very competitive to the baseline honor gear. To earn bloody tokens to buy these items however, you will need to enable war mode and then participate in world pvp activities, from world pvp world quest to slaying players with a bounty, picking up airdrops that can appear anywhere within the dragon isles, or by simply fighting other players found in the open world, which allows you to start making those immediate power gains if you just cannot wait to scratch that itch to pvp. Another activity that you can handle this week is to go get your Dragon Glyphs from the brand new zone. Collecting all of the new Dragon Glyphs in the patch 10.2 allows you to unlock new Dragon Riding abilities from passives but also active abilities as well that further upgrade your dynamic flying skill and make it much easier to traverse within the open world. A lot of these glyphs will be found towards the edges of the map, either next to trees way high up or somewhere near the mountain peaks. Being able to upgrade your dragons early allows them to have an easier time within dragon riding races, but also those dragon riding skills will come to use if you plan to raid in the patch 10.2, since one of the encounters within the Emergency Raid actually has you mounting on the back of your dragon riding mount to traverse a portion of that encounter. And lastly, this week you can also take care of the Pathfinder achievement. If you're not a fan of the dragon riding system and just miss the old school mode of flying for World of Warcraft, you can unlock it starting this week. All you have to do is complete the main story chapters of the Dragonflight expansion, but only the leveling portion of each of the four zones. The Waking Shore, Unarmed Plains, Azure Span, as well as Thaldrazis. And there's a good chance you've completed majority, if not all of these quest lines the first time you level throughout Dragonflight. Besides this, all you have to do is explore all the corners of the Dragon Isles. And once you explore all of the original zones, plus the new zone of the Emerald Dream, you will regain the access to normal flying within the zones of the Dragon Isles. I do think the dynamic flying system of the Dragonflight is far more efficient mode of transportation, but the original flying mode does have some conveniences like being able to hover mid-air while being able to stay perfectly still. And with that, more players have the choice to choose what kind of mode of transportation they prefer to use within the Dragon Isles. And with that, that's going to be your full list of things that you should do during the first week of the patch 10.2 to make sure that you have a fantastic start heading into Season 3. Whether you're looking to catch up gear for any of your mains or alts, or if you simply want to make sure you don't fall behind on any of the important weekly activities. But I hope you do end up enjoying the new zone of the Emerald Dream, as there is a lot to do. There's a ton of new collectibles for you to obtain from new mogs to some of the mounts, and even farming all of these things through the seeds that are available within the Emerald Dream has been a fantastic casual activity thus far. And I haven't even gotten on my druid to start earning some of the druid specific animal forms just yet. In short, there's actually so much to do within patch 10.2, and that list of things is only going to grow bigger once Season 3 officially launches. As per usual, if you guys enjoyed this video or found it informative, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, I would very much appreciate it. And as always, in the description of every single video and live stream, we have a link to our Discord community channel, probably the best place to reach out to me directly in case you want to let me know what you thought about this video or hang out with the rest of the community to discuss some of the upcoming changes. Join our Discord to become part of the community. But otherwise, thank you all so much for watching this video. I do hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know all of your thoughts down below. And as always, I'll see all of you guys in another video.